Hello dear children, welcome back. Hope you have understood the language item which I have given you in the previous class. And hope you are learning the lessons very well and doing all the activities properly. Right? Do well on time. Okay. We know we are living in a technologically well developed world and media has become an essential part of our day-to-day -day life and this media makes our life more easier and comfortable. The growth and the development of the languages and the scientific inventions opened out to a new world of media and communication, mass media and communication. What do you mean by mass media? Do you know? The people, all the people and the organizations uh, that are involved in providing the information to the public, especially to the newspaper, TV, radio, etc. And the frequent communication through the mobile phone and the in internet, that also uh, gives the messages and information. Right? Now, we are going to know about the, how this media evolved and developed by the years and how this uh, media influenced and helped the man all over the world. And it also gives us an awareness about the wide growth of this media and its impact, which are the means by which all these informations and messages are carried out at different places and different times. Okay, as we are living in this well-developed world where we have all the means of communication in abundance, but in ancient times, these facilities are not available. How these informations and messages are conveyed on in ancient days and how it is happened in nowadays that we are going to discuss in this chapter, Man and Media in the New Text. Uh, volume 2 textbook. Here's an article which gives us an evolution of the sending messages. Okay? Take page number 79 in your new volume textbook. You can see a picture. What is that picture about? A lot of symbols are there. What, is, what does each symbol tell? That picture is a media tree. What does each picture tell us? Try to uh, uh, say it. And try to draw this picture in your textbook, in your notebook. That uh, picture of media tree. Okay? Now turn over the page. Next page, page number 80. You can see another photo. What is it? What is it? Who is the, at the center of that picture? Yes, it's a postman. What's the role of a postman? Can you tell? Why this postman come to our house? Yes, the postman deliver us the letters, parcels and that some messages. Right? Yes. Then how does he get these letters? From where does he get the letters? He gets these letters from the post office. And uh, if we want to write a letter or inform a message to somebody, we write the light, we write these messages and every all the information in a paper, and fold it and put it in an envelope, and got them stamped from the post office, and dropped in a post box, and we waited patiently for some days for others' reply. Right? Have you written any letter to somebody? Anybody? Can you tell me? In our class, anybody uh, wrote this? Okay. If you want, then some days ago, in all the days, the messages are conveyed like this. We go to the post office and uh, buy the inlet or the cover and put these uh, letters or the messages in a cover like this. Okay. And how does this the post office get all these messages or the letters? 
you can see the photo in that uh, you can see the small photos in that um, picture that is the picture of the photo of the aeroplane and the train the aeroplane that is the mail plane air air mail air mail that carries the message from the abroad okay and the train that's also mail train this gives that letters to the different locations okay and what are the other pictures in that uh, photo you can see other uh, cards are there and also the bird what does that bird which is that bird yes the pigeon i think we have we heard a lot of stories in that stories some messengers are there like birds pigeons and the last first bill class in the victor's channel the teacher told you the stories of a uh, pigeon the messenger pigeon right and everything mentioned in that class okay now other these animals and the cards the pigeon all carried the messages in olden days but nowadays no other facilities are there okay now let's go to the chapter Take page number eighty in your textbook. The story of messages. Nowadays, when we want to communicate, we either email a person or send an SMS. Everything happens by the clicking of a mouse or the pressing of a few buttons. It was not so in the near past. Most people wrote letters, put them in an envelope, got them stamped. drop them in a post box and waited patiently to hear from the other person way back in the 1850s letters went on was back from the east to the west of america when freight company decided to spend things up by hiring a team and to take the mail to the west on was back in 1860 the pony express was formed Page page number eighty one. The riders for the Pony Express was chosen for their light weight as well as their riding ability. Most of them were young boys. The route they undertook was a rugged one. It went from Saint Joseph, Missouri, to Sacramento, California, a distance of over thousand eight hundred miles. Each rider rode a total of seventy five miles, changing ponies at different stations. The mail was carried in four leather boxes which were attached to the special saddle blanket thrown over the saddle. The changing of ponies was done in 2 minutes. The speed was a bonus because it cut the average delivery time from several weeks to about 10 days. The fastest trip was made in 7 days and 17 hours. This record was set by the rider carrying President Abraham Lincoln's first message to the US Congress. The poor riders had to ride through unknown terrains. Some roads exposed them to attacks from Red Indians and led them through dangerous territories. Newspaper advertisement for riders listed one important requirements: orphans preferred Though exciting, the Pony Express was a short-lived experiment. It lasted for only 19 months. By then, there was a telegraph line from coast to coast. This was definitely a faster way of sending messages. By the invention of the radio, brought in a great revolutionary change in the field of communication. Okay, all of you, pause my video. and read the same part to uh, once again okay now take your pen and some uh, few uh, new words are there let's underline them first first one that is rugged one okay rugged and the second one that is saddle here saddle then next one that is terrains terrains and another one that is territories 
now in last one there is rev sorry revolutionary okay that's all you may find out the meaning from the glossary at the end of this chapter or uh, from the dictionary from your home and also you may search from the google right now some uh, uh, questions are the textual questions are the look at the the textual question question number 2 the first one we have discussed uh, already we have discussed it and the second one under what circumstance was the pony express formed what's the reason for the formation of the pony express ഏതു ഒരു സാഹചര്യത്തിലാണ് ഈ പോണി എക്സ്പ്രസ് ഫോം ചെയ്തത് യു നോ ഇൻ വിച്ച് സിറ്റുവേഷൻ ദറ്റ് പോണി എക്സ്പ്രസ് വാസ് ഫോംഡ് നൗ ദറ്റ് ഇസ് ഇൻ ദ പ്രീവിയസ് പാരഗ്രാഫ് നൗ ഇൻ ദാറ്റ് ഡേസ് എയ്റ്റീൻ ഫിഫ്റ്റീസ് ദ പോണി ദ ഹോസസ് വർ കാരിഡ് ദ മെസ്സേജസ് ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് ടേക്ക് ലോട്ട് ഓഫ് ടൈം ദ ലോട്ട് ഓഫ് ഡേയ്സ് ടു ഗെറ്റ് ദ മെസ്സേജസ് and after the 1860s 80 men take that uh, 80 men took the role of the riding the horse and also it is very uh, difficult one at that time pony express was formed right you may write this answer in the space and the next one there is the third one that is list the modern ways of communication what are the different modes of communication now nowadays which are the means of communication now valare valare prayogamayittu cheyan vannu ippo cheyavuna etthom easiest aayittulla communication mode endokkana okay first of all mobile phone you may write here mobile phone internet etc you may find it out i think all of you know all this mode of communication very well you may write in the spaces okay and the th- fourth one that is next question uh in what sentence uh, sense was speed a bonus now here we wrote speed was a bonus endu kondana angane parayunade edoru sense lana angane parayunade speed or speed or bonus aanu parayunade yes that depends upon the speed of the horse which we have, which was we chosen okay nammal therinjedukkuna horse nan sarichirikkum appo kittunade so it may be Uh, sometimes maybe take several weeks now if the uh, speed if the pony was very speedy one now it will take less or a few days to get the messages okay the next one the uh, fifth one that is which was the fifth one what were the difficulties experienced by the riders while they were riding on our back on the pony then which are the difficult uh, which were the dif- difficulties they have to they had to face in the difficulties are now we face a and even other that is the in this in this part okay find out the answer and the last one which is other marange boy tender all of you look at your textbook here it is the last one why was the pony express a short lived experiment short lived experiment what do you mean by short lived and long lived valare korna period il mathram aayi poyad endu kondana pony ide pony express sending uh, the method of sending messages that is the pony express and why was the pony express a short lived one endu kondana short lived aayi poyad enda karanam now there is ha uh, there is the in this part that is also in this part you may find it out from here itself okay okay all of you read it what do you get from your reading in the first paragraph there is a sentence sentence everything happened by the clicking of a mouse or the pressing of few buttons what does it mean everything happened by the clicking of a mouse by clicking of a mouse that is a, uh, when a few seconds process few seconds or minute process what does it mean yes that means everything happened very easily and fastly okay now 
how did, how was that communication or the messenger messages passed in olden days in 1850 the horses carried the messages from east to west right and uh, after that a freight company what do you mean by freight company what do you mean by freight yes goods carried from one place to another place now here is a uh, company uh, that which has the duty of carrying the uh, things and the messages and freight company has the duty of it now they want to speed up these things then they took the 18 men to carry this messages on horseback okay after this 1860 another facility come came what is it yes pony express what do you mean by pony express what do you mean by pony the girls have you heard about the hairstyle pony tail hairstyle what does it mean how was it okay see the picture okay how is that uh, hairstyle pony tail hairstyle put up the hairs upwards and put a tie or a band around it that is just like the tail of some an uh, some animal which is it you know that is pony pony means horse have you seen this uh, tail of pony is very beautiful that just like this hairstyle right now see the uh, pony's picture okay pony express formed to carry these messages pony need a rider now what are the qualification for appointing the riders do you know yes that is there in your textbook riding ability and light weight what do you mean by light weight the physical body weight that should be very light now you know what is the difference between light weight body and the fat heavy weight or fat body you know avarku rendu perku ore pole ella karyangalum cheyan kariyo illallo yes so uh, they need the light weight body and riding ability for riding this horse for this they selected young boys right now they had to travel or ride over 75 miles right then they have to ride of 75 miles but uh, the ponies are changed at different station because they will become very tired so they have to ride for a long a long distance so the ponies are changed at different stations okay then uh, there is another word tell us now that is uh, the route was very rugged one what do you mean by route what is the meaning of root r o o t is the part of a tree or a plant root stem and flower leaf right but this root is a different one r o u t e root what is it now it's a path through which the riders are going on right now this root was a rugged one rugged what do you mean by rugged rugged means wild and not even the path is very wild and not even that means uneven what do you mean by even even means very flat horizontal or flat but this path was not even wild and uneven or not even even means not flat it is in a kunnum kuriyo kaitulla or difficult one right now they had to go through this road right and how does the mail was attached to the uh, horse or the pony now this mail was uh, tied or uh, kept in a leather boxes four leather boxes and these boxes are attached to the saddle of the pony what do you mean by saddle see the photo of saddle a leather sheet or a pad on the back of the pony that is the saddle and this mail box is attached to this 
uh, sad right now uh, the speed of the ponies that depends upon that each pony now sometimes it takes several weeks to reach the destination and sometimes if the uh, pony is very speedy now it may take only 10 days that depends now the speed was a bonus okay now this male does this pony has to ride through different has to face a lot of problems on the way they have to ride through different terrain unknown terrains what do you mean by terrains different areas of land they have to go through unknown terrains moreover they have to face the attack of red indians what do you mean by red indians in the victor's channel first bell class the teacher shown you has shown you the photo of the red indians they have to face the attack from these people and they also they have to go, go through right through the dangerous uh, territories dangerous regions these are the different pro problems on the way and this uh, pony express system they put an advertisement on the newspaper they give a requirement important requirement in that advertisement you know what is it orphans preferred and they give the priority or the preference to the orphans you know what is orphan anatha anathya candidates in kudal priority kudukkanu okay now this pony express was a short lived experiment what do you mean by short lived long lived and short lived aayusu koravirunu korchi kaalam ninnittundayirunnu now because it was a somewhat difficult one and the uh, invention of the telegraph line that is somewhat faster than this and now the pony express lasted only for 19 months then comes the, tele the tele telegraph line okay then after the after that there's another invention that is the uh, invention of the radio that is somewhat faster and that's made a revolutionary change in the change in the field of communication a revolutionary change in the field of communication okay now uh, listen the voice hello the friends do you know me i am radio i am just over a hundred years old it was marconi who invented me i was in fact developed from telegraph you know i have many advantages i am much more portable medium than television i allow you to carry on listening you at your work if you use me your imagination capacity will be developed you know i am the theater of the mind friends you can close your eyes but you can't close your ears but nowadays people have no interest on me that's why i am so sad friends you know i am waiting for with different programs entertainment programs music programs morning wake up shows news and weather segments radio dramas live shows sport programs educational programs so don't forget to use me wisely page 82 in your textbook all of you look at the book very well and listen my reading while i'm reading okay the radio the radio is just over a hundred years old it was marconi who invented an instrument to send the wireless message he sent the first radio message in 1895 this marked the birth of the radio it was in fact developed from the telegraph which was invented by cook and whitstone in 1835 later it was perfected by mose the word telegraph is derived from the two greek words telos which means distant and grapho which means to to write 
the invention of the telephone by alexander graham bell in the year 1876 was now the revolutionary step in the field of communication it became more popular because the person at the other end could hear the speaker's voice there are no uh, new words so all of you pause my video and read the same two times okay who invented the radio yes marcon now the first radio message that is in 1895 that marked the birth of the radio now that means its age that is over 100 years about 125 years actually it was uh, developed from the telegraph line which is invented by cooks and winston after there is another invention telephone who was the inventor yes alexander graham bell that became more popular than the others because the person could hear the speaker's voice in the other hand right now okay now we are discussed about the radio now what are the advantages of the radio can you tell now this is the second activity what are the advantages of the radio one more activity uh, how the messages are conveyed in the past in your locality now you may ask to your elders and for asking you prepare some questions avarodu chodikkanengil endellam chodyangal chodikkanam now prepare some questionnaire or at least five questionnaire questions okay now there are three uh, uh, activities the first one draw the media tree and the second one uh, make the questionnaire to ask the elders in your home about the how the messages are conveyed in your locality in the past and the third one what are the advantages of the radio okay now it's a wireless messages it's a wireless message wireless instrument how it become more useful okay okay do all the activities very well and send to me that's all for today thank you very much have a nice day.